Hi guys, okay, we're back. Uh, this will be the last video of 2014. Just to let you guys know, today, actually early this morning, we hit 4,000 subscribers. So uh, thank you for a great year. Um, we got bigger and better things coming. We're going to try and kick these videos out rather than once a month. Now we're going to kick them out once a week now that we're in our new little studio here. Um, and what we want to do is kind of institute maybe a, a new thing that will, will be of more value to you guys. We want to try and answer as many questions and, and do as many videos on stuff that's going to be informative and valuable to you guys. So this, this week, uh, and, and so, you know, when you, if you've got ideas of things that you want to see, questions that you have, we'll try and answer them via video if we possibly can, depending on whether we get 4,000 a week. <laughs> that might be a little issue. But uh, anyway, just uh, if you've got something that you want to see that you haven't seen on any of our other videos, um, write us a question and let us know or call us or email us or whatever. Yeah, we'll probably even give you credit for it, uh, you know, by name. Right. Just like, uh, just like we'll do on this one. Yeah, today. this week we're going to, we got a, a question from, uh, from Robert, uh, I think it's pronounced Hasty, uh, from one of our Facebook groups, and I think he's in Pennsylvania. But he wanted to know if we could show on camera, if we could show how I put the backer board on that panel board, like you guys have seen me use before. Um, I can't remember the, the videos, but it's just been a few videos ago. This will be video number 109, I believe. So anyway, so I want to go through that process of exactly how I go about doing it. It's fairly simple, but there's a, a couple things to keep in mind, a couple things that I've learned that's helped make it a little bit easier to do. So uh, here's what we've got. We've got our piece of panel board, and on the panel board, uh, generally speaking, there's going to be a good side and a bad side. This is, uh, I mark this as my, as my face. This is going to be the face of my sign here. This is, uh, by the way, this has uh, got one coat of uh, brushed sanding sealer on it, like, I, like you guys know I, I use. This is the back side. So this is the side that will be hidden. And this is the main reason I picked that is the back side, beside the fact that that gets kind of, Kind of hairy sometimes to uh, to carve. So that's the front side, and then my three quarter inch plywood is that's the obviously the inside. I've marked it the inside. That's kind of the the rough side of the plywood, and that'll be the the back of the sign. So this will be the front of the sign. That'll be the back of the sign. Now I'm going to glue and screw these together. Now what I've done is. Um, my overall sign is going to be 14 by 28. So what I've done is this, I'd like to be a little bit bigger when I'm making these things, a little bit bigger, and then I can trim it down to the exact size. So this is 16. So I, I try to go a couple inches both ways if I can, so I have plenty of room for trim. So this is 16 by 30. So I'm going to trim, once it's all glued and dry and everything, I'll trim that down to 14 by 28. And this is basically the same, except it's at least a little bit bigger all the way around. And I'll, I'll explain why it is I do that that way. Now what I've done is I've made lines and drilled holes already off camera, so I didn't waste your time on that. But basically, I know that these, these are going to be about one inch in from the edge. Remember I said the, my overall sign is going to be 14 inches which is here, so one inch in, one inch in on all four sides, that's where I want my holes, and then I put, uh, put eight screws in the center that will keep it from cupping, or so everything will be laying flat and glued and screwed together. So, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to lay this down, and this is going to be here. So I am just going to glue the heck out of this thing, and then, uh, actually, you know what, I got that backwards. I'm going to lay the face of this thing down, because I've got a screw from that back side. So that's the face, that's going to go this way. That is going to go that way. That's the way it's going to be on there. Now the reason I, I might as well get into this right now, the reason I made 
this piece a little bit bigger all the way around is because when my board is all glued up and screwed down, I want to be able to trim it and uh, and if I have the, the actual base board, the face of my sign, a little bit smaller all the way around, then when I run it through my table saw, I've got a nice straight edge. If I didn't do that, if this thing is off a little bit, then it, would, it makes it much harder to trim down. And I don't have to use the joint or anything like that. I can just do it all on the table saw. So what I'm going to do here, what I'm doing right as we speak, is I'm going to make sure that that is a little bit bigger all the way around, and it is. So I am going to set this aside, and I'm going to throw a bunch of glue down on this thing, spread it around. Let me get my gloves on here. I could do this without gloves because this is just water soluble glue so it's no big deal but I'd rather not glue myself if I can help it so I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue down hopefully I got enough in this bottle I think I do you following me there dad yep okay pretty much gonna take the rest of that bottle I think so I uh, I'm really I don't worry about wasting glue. I'd rather have way too much glue than not enough. So what I'm going to do now is I've just got some little pieces of, of cardboard and I'm going to just spread this around and just make sure that this is that number one I've got to clear the edge all the way around and I've got every every square inch of that of that thing covered. And this is kind of a messy process guys but Again, or while you have that paper underneath it. Just yeah, to... yeah. I I don't want to. I don't want to get glue all over my. Even though that's just crappy particle board underneath the paper, I still don't want to. I don't want to get it all over. So. So I, I and again, it's not an exact science, and you guys may have a better way to do it than what I'm doing. I'm just showing you what I do. So if this can help you guys a little bit, I got a trash can over here. So that's spread out pretty well. Now, oh, by the way, on the bottom side of this board here, after I drilled, because I had breakouts, I took my sanding block and I sanded it down pretty well to try and get all of the, all of the, the stuff off of there. brush it off. But now I am going to put that in place. Kind of just feel underneath and center it up to make sure again this is bigger all the way around. And I'm going to drive a screw down through there. Now the screws I've got are inch and a quarter. This is three quarter, uh, basically three quarter. My my piece is basically three quarter, and that's the long tip that I've got in there. So bear with me, I forgot about that. That's, these little screws have the star tip. They don't have the, the Phillips in them. Oops. So. Alright, so anyway, so my I know my screws are not going to go all the way through to the face of my sign. So I've got this pretty much centered there. I want to get the, the corner in. And my they'll kind of countersink themselves there, so I don't have to worry about that. Now I'm going to get this other corner. Then I know that it is where I want it. Now I'll just fill in the rest of the... That should keep it right in place. And again, I've got a little bit of extra all the way around. So I know when I go... When it's, uh, when it's all dried up, and I go to... So about how many, how many screws do you think you put in there? Oh, I don't know. What have I got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twenty, twenty-eight 
plus six, I don't know, about 34, something like that. Okay. I didn't really count them, honestly. You got those somewhere around three inch centers? Yeah, two to three inches, something like that. I don't want any big gaps in there. I want to make sure that, uh, that it gets as flat as it can get. Screws are pretty cheap, so it just made sense to me to put to put them in there to get them as flat as I can. I think I'm going to go ahead and get some of these center ones in. So, um, so this should be dry tomorrow, and I can go ahead and trim it down and start working on my sign. So all you're doing tonight with this is you're just uh, you're making the board. Yeah. You're getting it ready. That's exactly. And tomorrow right. after the glue dries, then you'll sand it, you'll trim it, lay yeah. the sign out, and curve it. That's exactly right. And I've got. Uh, oh, I did get a lot of glue in there. <laughs> But again, I'd rather have more glue than not enough. Glue is pretty cheap. And uh, screws are pretty cheap. I'd rather have. Yeah, and once you put five or six hours into a sign. Yeah, uh, you don't want it coming apart. And the thing that glue does too, besides holding the board together, it also seals it up. It'll seal up that plywood and seal up the back side of the of the panel board so that it uh, so moisture is less a lot less likely to uh, now I see why you wear rubber gloves. Yeah. Yeah. I really the neat thing about this glue though, like you guys know, it washes with water. So just a damp rag and it'll uh, it'll clean right up. But it sands off pretty easy too if you don't get it all cleaned up. Now my hope is that did I get that one or I did? My hope is that the glue is enough glue that it goes all the way to the edge so that when I trim it down to that. 14 by 28, my eventual size of my sign, um, that I don't have any voids. Or... Now the reason you use the inch and a quarter screw is so that it doesn't go all deep enough so that it'll be in the area that you'll be carving and you won't be a quarter of an inch deep. Right. So you'll never reach the point of the screw. That's right. None of my carving should reach should be deep enough to reach the point of these screws, but yet the screws will be in there far enough to really suck it down, down to the plywood. So that, uh, that should work out. And these screws, I, you notice I didn't even uh, pre-drill the back of the, of the panel board because these screws, these screws have a little, a little notch in the end makes them kind of self-tapping. So kind, just kind of like deck screws. Yeah. So they uh, they just I just didn't need to pre-drill the back of the. I think that's all of them. Good. All right. So now I'm just going to kind of clean that up a little bit. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to sand this off tomorrow after it dries up anyway. But that's. That's pretty much it. Now, let's see if I can turn it over, and I'll wipe off that excess stuff. You see how that is uh, just a little bit bigger over there. In my trash can, and I don't have a. I forgot to get a kind of a damp rag, that's really the best way to, to clean up the, some of this stuff is with a damp rag. I forgot to get one of those. 
after we're done. Here. Most of what you what you're doing there yeah. will be trimmed off anyway. Exactly. Right? Yeah, it'll be trimmed off with a saw. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's not not real difficult to do. Just a couple things that I've learned. The biggest thing that I learned the hard way was to make sure that my my backer board is a little bit bigger than this board all the way around. So now when I run that through the table saw, it'll run on that. And I'll trim it, obviously trim about an inch off of here and an inch off of there and a couple inches off the end. And I'm good to go. I've got a, an inch and a half board that uh, should be all good, ready to go. I've got sanding sealer on the front and I'll start making my sign. So there's a, there you go, Robert. I hope that answers your question. Now I can take these things off and these things make it kind of nice. So, um... Again, you guys have questions? We're going to try to, every week, try to uh, address an issue or a question or something that you guys are, are looking to, to learn and maybe have some questions on. We already have, uh, we already have a bunch kind of lined up, but um, keep them coming. We, again, we plan on doing a video every week and giving you guys as much good information as we can and we appreciate you guys subscribing and if you haven't subscribed this is the first video you've seen go back and check out uh, the rest of the videos and subscribe to our channel and um, go to the Facebook pages there's a lot of cool things on the Facebook pages for sure so uh, that's about it Did I forget anything Dan? Nope. Oh that's our channel by the way in case you didn't see it I'm standing in front of it so um, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Uh, Merry Christmas, everybody, and uh, or it's already Christmas, but Happy New Year, and we'll see you in 2015.